Hello everyone, it's Rebecca here and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm doing a book haul because that's all I seem to do on my channel as I always say. This book haul features sale shopping mainly so it's currently New Year's Eve. I apologise if you hear squeaking, it's this chair. It needs some, it needs oiling basically. So we went shopping yesterday and we haven't really done much sale shopping so we thought you know what we're gonna go last day off together realistically where we're not really doing anything we're gonna go sale shopping so that started a downward spiral so we went to a couple of shops in the big shopping centre near where we live um and i got a number of books and then i went online and ordered some more and two of those arrived this morning which i was really surprised about because i only ordered them last night so i'm just going to show you the first two that i ordered online and then we'll get into the ones that i got on deals through um shops such as WH Smith and Waterstones. The first one I have is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. Now this one has been very very popular on booktube for a while now um, and I never got around to picking it up mainly because it was in hardback. Now for those of you who don't know I don't really like hardback books much. I much rather prefer the paperback because they're just easier to transport. So I was waiting more so for the paperback to come out and it had been out a while so I decided to order it online. So this one follows Leah and Elias I believe. Um, and just off the back of it, it gives me very much sort of Star Wars vibes. It sounds really sad, but her parents are murdered, her brother's arrested for treason and against the Empire, and the only people she can turn to are the rebels. She then goes, according to the back of the book obviously, she then goes and spies on the military academy, which is where she meets Elias, and I'm guessing she's going to sort of get some secrets about the... the, the um, the Empire and things like that. Um, I know that this has been very much loved sort of YouTube wide and I know that it is supposed to be being adapted into a film or TV series. Um, so I thought I would pick this one up and then see if I enjoy it but I don't know when I'm going to get around to it. I guess we'll wait and see. The next one I have is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. This one again is a one that's been quite popular. I've seen on YouTube um, and particularly on a couple of channels that I tend to watch all the time. Um, I can't remember who for the life of me has mentioned it now that I really can't remember. The way people talk about this one always had me sort of wondering, you know, what what's it about? So, this one is based in a place called The Stillness, which is a land long familiar with catastrophe, where the power of the earth is wielded as a weapon and where there is no mercy. This basically just sounds amazing. <laughs> like, it's essentially just going to be this big screw up of a place where slightest thing puts your life in danger and that kind of book is the one that I really need right now. It is part of a trilogy as far as I'm aware with the second one being The Obvious Gate um, so hopefully I'll get to this one and enjoy it and give you all my thoughts too. Let's go to the WH Smith bag. So the first one from WH Smith that I picked up, I picked up no word of a lie because it had a half price sticker on it and that is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. So I don't know much about this one other than it includes some sort of royalty and assassins and I've been on a bit of an assassin's kick lately. Particularly in 2017 with the books I've read, I've been on very much of an assassin's kick. So I'm excited to get to this one at some point. It looks like it could be quite a quick read actually. It's about 350 pages. Hopefully it is a quick read. And this next one I picked up because I haven't got a book by this author on my shelves, um, which it is a bit of a crappy excuse to buy a book but this one was one of the ones that I really wanted to read. Um, it's the one that I've wanted to pick up for a while now. Particularly with how much that it seems to resonate with a lot of booktubers. And that is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. This one follows two gentlemen named Matteo, Matteo Torres and Rufus Emeterio. Um, and they live in a world where you get a notification on the day you're going to die to say you're dying today, you're dying in 24 hours, make the most of your life. So they, I believe that they get paired up because they both get this message and we follow them as they spend the last, the last day of their life together. I know that it's a bit of a spoiler alert as in they both die at the end but a lot of people seem to have been sort of emotionally connected to this one, emotionally invested quite heavily um, so hopefully I'll enjoy it. That sounds really crude, hopefully I'll enjoy people dying. Hopefully I'll enjoy the, the writing style if you know what I mean. Okay, so we're on to the Waterstones bag and there are four books in here. Um, now these ones were all buy one get one half price. I couldn't help myself. I really couldn't help myself. I went in and got these, which is a bit of a giveaway for this one, if you know what it is. The first one I have is 
How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. This one follows a gentleman called Tom who's um, who looks like a 41 year old teacher but actually has lived centuries essentially. He's lived centuries and he continues to live pretty much forever unless he falls in love. Um, I think I think that's what stops it. But as long as he keeps changing his identity, he stays ahead of the game and can move around the world as the times are changing. The only thing he must not do is fall in love. That's what it says on the back. Again, another one of the authors that I was like, never read him, sounds really good. I know that he gets a lot of love on Twitter as well. Um, in terms of sort of support and things. So it's definitely one I want to pick up. It is quite short, just over 300 pages. I'm really looking forward to getting around to this one. The next one I have has beautiful red edges and that is Spellslinger by Sebastian de Castell. This is an author who I've seen doing the rounds again on, you on YouTube and is a very popular author. Now, this one contains magic and losing magic, essentially. So on the back, it literally just tells us that the character, um, the main character is coming up to a duel and then all of a sudden his magic is gone on his 16th birthday. So if you know my channel, if you know me, you know that I'm a sucker for a book with magic in it. Of anything magic-y, usually I'm there. Um, so I'm really interested to see how this goes because I know there is another one out as well. There's a second one out. Um, but this one again looks like it could be another quick read, so hopefully I'll get to it soon. I'm essentially just repeating myself in like every single sort of saying and this little bit of hair is really starting to pee me off now. The next one I have is This Mortal Coil and this is by Emily Savada. This one, when people were getting proof copies of this one, it sounded so interesting and sounded so fun. Um, this one follows a soldier called Cole who arrives with the news of Lachlan Agatha's death. All hope seems lost for Katarina. Um, her father was the world's leading gen geneticist and she managed his best hope of beating a devastating virus. So underneath, so, so Cole goes and delivers this method, message to Katarina which is, Lachlan, which is Lachlan's daughter and underneath this message she finds a vaccine for the, the disease. Um, so she, I'm guessing we follow her and it's not going to be all as it seems, I'm guessing there's going to be people after her because she knows there's a vaccine and knows how to get it. I'm assuming there's going to be people trying to kill her um, and I'm really excited to see what happens with this one. This one sort of reminds me a little bit of Iron Pilgrim which followed a um, biological warfare. The threat of smallpox being released into, an, like, sort of developed and released as an airborne um, virus. So hopefully... I will enjoy this one. I'm really sorry about this piece of hair. I don't know why it exists, to be fair. Like, what even is this? But yeah, hopefully I can get to this one soon. It is one of the ones that I've been dying to read since it was released, um, or since the arcs were flying around. So I've been dying to read this one, and hopefully I will get to it soon. And the final one I have is Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman, which is in a shiny cover, so I'm gonna have to probably tilt it that way, or hold it that way. Yeah, I'll hold it that way. Um, so this one contains assassins and other worlds beneath London and just again assassins I need to read this just on assassins alone I've never read an Neil Gaiman book I've seen Coraline but never read it um, and I loved Coraline so hopefully I know it's not the same to compare um, but ideally I want to get to this one pretty sharpish I do have a lot of books that I want to read in 2018 mainly all of these ones that I've just hauled as well as my other books to read in 2018 video self promo whoop whoop anyway I do want to get to this one, it contains assassins and other worlds, so I think, I think I'll probably fly through this one as well actually. So there we have it, those are the eight books that I recently hauled in my sale shopping. I did originally go out for clothes, came back with no clothes but loads of books, as a surprise. So thank you all so so much for watching, but let me know if you've read any of the books up above. Let me know if you've read any of those books um, and maybe we can have a chat in the comments. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye!